Use whatever tactics you deem necessary in order to make the pitch, make the sale, and win the award, because this is Guerrilla Marketing. Thanks for joining us at Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. And today we're looking at Gorilla Marketing from Roxley. This is from designer Adam Wise and illustrated by Andrew Bosley. It's a three to six player word party game that takes about 20 to maybe 40 minutes to play. Roxley was kind enough to send us a copy to check out. So let's take a look at how it's played. To set up the game, give each player their player booklet and a marker. Select the category for the game, like movies, college courses, or food trucks. Then each player will pull a die from the bag and roll it. They write the corresponding category from the sheet on their player board. And then the dice are rolled to see which letters are used for the round. The player keeps rolling the dice until either two red dice are rolled or four dice are on the table. Everyone passes their books to the left and play begins. Everyone then flips to a new page in their book, and then using the acronym created by the dice, they will create a title for the category. So in this example, a fantasy movie using D and T might be Dice of Thrones. Players will mark the tab at the bottom, flip the page, pass the book, and in their new book, they will write a title for the next category using those same letters. Once everyone has played and now has their own booklet back, they will then take turns rolling two dice to determine the categories they will use for judging the movies in their book. Categories like lowest budget or most stuntman injuries. They choose a winner from their book and write the title at the top of the page and the winner receives a banana. For the next round, players must write a marketing slogan for the winning movie title. Someone rolls the dice to create a new acronym and play continues like in the first round. Players will again roll two dice to select a category to judge the slogans, and bananas are awarded. The player with the most bananas wins. I think we've all played a number of party voting, word creation, party games. Uh, one of the unique things about Guerrilla Marketing is just that the packaging is so nice for the entire thing. I like that it's a unique box. Inside you've got those cool flip books. Everything just lays out really well. There's a lot of like clever, goofy stuff written in there. Uh, the, even the markers seemed a little bit better than some of the cheap party game type of things that you would play. Uh, I really liked the design overall and had a good time playing it. Yeah, in the game, you are trying to come up with a title of whichever category your group has decided ahead of time. So it could be wildly different depending on what category you use. Food trucks is going to be a different experience than movie titles, um, as well as college courses. And it may also depend on what group you're playing with as to which category you use. And one of the other things that really shakes up things in the game is when you determine what those categories are going to be, it's not just which one of these you know, titles that are made up made me laugh and did I think was funny and even maybe had the inside joke, although all of those are funny uh, and make for the game's enjoyment level to be really high. Uh, but because you might get craziest stuntman, well suddenly the game that was the funniest name now isn't the funniest because this other one is more applicable to stuntmen, and so it really kind of changes up the dynamics of what you're voting for and how you choose after each round. Yeah, so you may not write the funniest answer in your booklet, but it may be the most applicable to the actual categories that are judged on, which is completely random in the game. Um, this game uh, does have a few things that would not be suitable for younger audiences, so it's not necessarily a family-friendly game. Um, some of the quotes in there may not be family-friendly, but that is something for you to decide. Right, not an adult game, but definitely not a family game either. You could probably turn it into an adult game just fine, and those categories are pretty generic, so it's really going to depend on how what, what comes out of your brain and what ends up on the paper. Yeah, we've had some excellent laughs with this one. Um, it is one that it will require some thinking to come up with something with those acronyms so there is a chance for AP in the game or if you have a bigger group um, somebody could get behind especially if you roll some unique letters that aren't well used um, in regular titles of things <laughs> which sometimes just makes it all the funnier because yeah, you rely on weird spellings that's what I do and just make up my own <laughs> words and uh, 
if it sounds like something that you would have a good time with, though, definitely check out Gorilla Marketing from Roxley. And then, as always, thanks so much for liking, subscribing, and following along here at Tantrum House. The glamorous life of 60s advertising execs. This is Gorilla Marketing. Good enough. That was my monkey impersonation.